Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Mark Shellspace, and today we're taking a look at Marvel Girl from the Marvel Legends Tri Sentinel Build a Figure Wave. So stick around and let's check her out. Alright, welcome back. So, real quick, before we crack her out of the box here, let's take a look at the side art. So here's the side art. You got Marvel Girl looking ready for battle and the House of Ten X-Men logo. Take a look at the back of the card. This is just expanded art from what's included on the side of the box. And I think it's pretty good looking art. Then on the bottom you see the other six figures that come in the wave with Marvel Girl to build the Tri-Sentinel build a figure. So let's go ahead and take a look at her. Alright, so Marvel Girl comes with the right leg for the Tri-Sentinel build a figure. Same as the left leg here. You got black and purple tones with a little bit of silver mixed in at the top of the leg and the boot here. So we'll put that together later. She also comes with a couple action hands. Getting ready to do her telekinesis powers. Pretty standard offering for what Hasbro produces these days. But what I think is really neat and she also comes with this little pot of Krakoan flowers. And this is a pretty neat little touch. So for anyone who is unfamiliar with these, in the current X-Men run, one of the things these flowers are used for is to plant gateways around the world so that mutants can travel uh, through the gateways, you know, like it's like fast travel. You just step through the gateway and then they end up on the other side and get in the gateway somewhere else. That's a pretty cool little accessory. I like that. All right, I'll go ahead and take a look at Marvel Girl here. I'm going to throw up a side by side of a cover of X Men number one done by Stanley Archer and Lau. And just take a look at this and see that the figure is modeled pretty well off of the artwork from the book. The coloring isn't a perfect match, but I actually think I like the coloring on the figure better. It's kind of a more classic looking yellow and green than what's in the artwork. It just looks a little more modern, at least in my mind. So let's take a look at the figure up close here. Alright, so here's Marvel Girl up close. Take a look at the face, the mask, the hair. I like the detailing in the hair. You see she's got thick strands. It's not real gummy to the touch. It's, it's pretty stiff and hard. I like that. And you even got the hair flowing around the ear here. That's a neat little touch on the detail. See the gloves she's wearing here. Pull up around her forearms. On both sides. You got some definition in the gloves here. They wrinkle up around the wrists. So just flat sitting there. You got the X-Men logo on the belt here goes around the body through the loops looks like there's a little sloppy paint on the back there but that's not a huge deal and the skirt here this is similar to what Gwen Stacy and Moira came with but it is a little different in that it's not cut up as high on the side here so I'll show you for comparison here is Moira. See the cut? It's just a little higher up where Marvel Girl, her cut's just a little more conservative. And Moira's does look slightly longer than Marvel Girl's. So a little shorter, but not cut up as high. Moira's a little longer and cut up higher. There's also on the back, it's flat. 
you know, where you see Moira here. Hers has got a little definition. See, there's definition wrinkles on the skirt. And Marvel Girl is just flat. But overall, I think it presents a really clean look. It's form fitting. And I think that looks really well. You got some wrinkles on the around the midsection here. Show like she's wearing it. I like that. Extra bit of detail there. Now on the legs. You've got the yellow comes up midway up the leg. To match the boots here. And she's got the same kind of boots as McTaggart came with. They've got these half high heels. They're not my favorite. I mean, I know aesthetically they look fine with the figure, but trying to stand the figure up is slightly problematic. She'll stand, it's just not as easy as somebody with flat feet or that might have had a better, you know, like a thicker base on the platform. So take a look at the articulation. So the head, it turns. I mean, you know, it's gonna be kind of limited by the hair here. But right, you just flip the hair up over the shoulders, it'll turn. Forward and back motion is pretty limited because of the hair. But that's not a huge deal to me. I like the way the hair is. Got the butterflies here. They move, they move pretty well. Look at the elbow joints. These are pretty standard elbow joints for female figures. I like them. Yes, yeah, aesthetically, they, I think they just look better. And then on the legs, you know, as expected, there's limitation because of the skirt. She can go forward or backward a little bit, but I mean, the skirt is not, it's pretty stiff plastic, so there's not going to be a lot of bending going on there. The knees, they bend. Legs do turn. And the ankles pivot and swivel. I got the midsection here, so she does turn at the torso. She turns pretty well. That's a flexible torso. You see, turning actually can pop up. At the midsection there. I like that. It's flexible. There's no bust break here. It's all just solid together. Some of the female figures come, you know, with the where you turn at the bust, but she does not, but that's okay. Her torso movement is pretty good. Alright, so that's my review for Marvel Girl from the Marvel Legends Tri Sentinel Build a Figure Wave. Hope you like it. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, uh, leave me some comments, and I'll be doing reviews of the other figures from this wave here shortly. Thanks for watching.